Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got a really dope video for you guys. So today I was looking through my channel and trying to find things that I haven't necessarily taught you or haven't showed on the channel in a while. And something I haven't really showed you guys is how to properly tank in heist. Now heist is a mode that isn't really played too much by myself. Um, and tank primarily is a position that I rarely ever play, but I do know exactly how to play it, exactly what to do, and I realized I haven't showed you guys this. So what we're going to be doing is playing two ga or playing two different brawlers that are the two heist tanks, which are, which are Bull and Daryl. We're going to properly show you guys how to play Bull and Daryl in heist and how to effectively be an OP tank. So with this being said, before we get into the gameplay, we're doing a giveaway all week. We're giving away 10 spots on my friends list. So all you have to do are, sorry, let me clarify, on my mini, which I still use all the time. It's my competitive account. So I'm might actually rather be added on the mini than the main but anyways i'm gonna be adding 10 people all you guys have to do is subscribe like the video and leave a comment so again subscribe leave a like leave a comment and you guys are going to be entered and at the start in a in a week's time today at the start of a video i'm going to be announcing 10 names you guys are going to win you guys can dm me it's a really cool prize it's really easy to interact like that um, i play with a lot of you guys that add me so good luck in the competition with that said let's hop into the games and let's teach you guys how to properly heist tank Okay, so here we go into the first game, and immediately what I notice is we're facing a Primo, Anita, and a Jesse. So we, what we want to do is kind of stay close to the Primo, because he's going to be easiest for us to charge our super off of. So basically what we are is we're kind of like... Like, well, we are a tank, but that's not what I was trying to say. I can't really get the right wording, but basically what we are is someone who just runs up, gets super, charges in, does as much damage as possible, and dies. It's literally our goal. It's literally what we're supposed to do, and that's what we're going to do. So we've done a little bit of percentage, but nothing much. We're just basically trying to charge our super and win lane over here. So basically, we're just going to get as close as possible. We're going to be able to get our super in one shot. There we go. And then we're going to go in when the time is right. So you notice they're all dead. We don't want to go in when they're all just going to spawn. So we're going to wait for them to come up a little bit, make a move up, and then I'm going to start going in. So I'm going to go over here on the left side, close to this primo. I'm going to be able to chip this primo as well as chip the safe, get my super back, do some good damage, and basically just hold positioning over here. So I'm doing a pretty good job. Unfortunately, our teammates did go down, um, which does suck because we could have had a decent push, but nonetheless, we're able to get our super back. So it doesn't really matter. You guys notice Primo and Nita get super, so we're going to have to defend a little bit, but we're a good shotgunner. We can take things out pretty easily, pretty fast at that. Primo's going to jump in. He's not going to be able to do anything though because we're just chilling right here. We're going to get some shots off. He's going to get to one shot. And then the, our 8-foot is going to be able to take him down. So we're going to try and move up a lane over here. Regain some HP. Our guys are going to be able to defend really easily since they have an 8-bit. So we're just chilling over here on this right side. 33% is all we need to do to win the game. So we're going to super down the middle over here. Get some shots off on the safe. 1, 2, 3, which is a, a dish, which is like 7,000 damage. It's a really good amount. We're going to go down here probably... We are, but we did some good damage, so hopefully we're going to be able to go up and win it now. So all we basically need to do is get our super to go up. So with Bolt, that's basically what you do. You just go up, hold position, die, do it all over again, and then you're able to get an easy win. So let's go into the second game. Let's start breaking down star powers, breaking down play style, what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to sneak up. Let's get into the game and let's show you guys what to do. Okay, so here we go into the next game over here. Now we notice we're facing double tank and Nita, so we're not going to have an issue charging our super throughout this game. Since for them to charge theirs, you have to get especially close to us. So what we're going to do is, st is stay in the grass and try and stay sneak. We're holding the auto aim button, moving up, and we're going to be able to get two really easy quick shots off them. Now what I do when I play bull is I prefer to use the shield star power just because I find it to be a lot better. I find it to be... You know, like you can you can do different things with bull outside of mainly what you're supposed to do, but a lot of pros like to use the rage star power. So there's I wouldn't not recommend I wouldn't recommend either or. It's kind of just like a preferred playstyle what you guys prefer to do. Um, but personally, I like to use the shield. Now I did go in there. I just did a bunch of damage because I knew either our team was going to be able to take it out or their bull was going to do a lot of damage. So I wanted to die and get back as soon as possible. So I'm close to super over here. I'm just going to move up, try and get it. Although I think rinse might be able to finish this game he's not going to be able to but i am one shot off of super so i'm just going to charge forward over here going to be able to get that shot and that's going to be the game so that was the let's talk about star powers you guys saw me sneak through the grass and how to target tanks now we're going to do one more game where we use the other star power to show you guys how to do it quickly and then we're going to ho hop over to daryl and show you guys how to properly play daryl in heist which is a whole different story so let's hop into it and let's show you guys what to do because okay, so you're going to the next game so in this game we're using the rage star power so it's actually a really good game to be using the rage star power since we're facing a primo and a bull so again, we want to get into the grass and start sneaking because the sneak is definitely the best way to move up. So they're not going to even see us. So we're going to go right down the mid and get right on the safe over here. So we're going to hit some 2800. So this entire game is, is dependent on if our team can defend. Now, originally, we could already see that their Primo went down. So we're going to be doing more damage than they are by a little bit for now. 
Um, we're gonna try and get our super off this Primo over here. Gonna be able to get it, but I think we're gonna go down over here. We are. Pretty close game, but what you want to do with with Bull is basically just rush when you have the star power. You're not meant for defense. You're not meant for mid control. You're meant for going in, attacking, dying, and doing it over again. So what we're going to do here is just charge right back in. Going to get some shots off. Going to get three. Going to go close to this Bull over here. We're almost able to get the kill, but again, we're, all, we're able to get our super back. We did some good damage, so if, we're, if they're not going to end it over here, we just need to go up and get a charge, and we'll probably win. So the bull is going to charge up. So we're going to do the same. We're going to go over here. One, two, and three. And we're going to win the game. So that's exactly what you want to do if you're using the star power. Just get your super. Go up to the safe. Do damage. Die. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. And that's basically how you're going to play bull. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to Daryl. Now Daryl is a very different story. I prefer playing Daryl in heist. He's definitely much more viable on more heist snaps as where bull is very viable. And can be played on all the high snaps, but can only be played one way. As where Daryl, you can play defense, you can play mid control, you can play offense. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and show you guys how to properly Daryl. Okay, so here we go into the first game. And now this is the type of matchup, well, first game for Daryl. This is the type of matchup exactly you want to see with Daryl. So Bull, you want to face more tanks, try and get right into the face of people. With Daryl, you do as well, but not as much. You kind of have more mobility. You can just roll on people and get easy kills. So what we're doing is we're just chilling over here. So for this game, we're going to use first star power. Again, use the grass to try and get as close to possible to people. So we're able to stay alive over here. We're able to get our super. So that's a really good start. Um, this grass, by the way, is a really good hiding spot on this map if you guys want to be able to survive. Um, oh, we're almost going down. We're going to chill. Oh, that ball just got us. But we're going to be able to get our super. So we can basically assassinate whichever person on their team that we want with it. So we're going to choose to assassinate this uh, Rico over here. So that's going to be a really easy kill. We're also going to be able to get the Daryl. Going to let him jump quickly. And there we go. We're able to get the kill. So now we have position. That's what I like about Daryl. Bull wouldn't be able to do that. But Daryl, you can kind of just roll up to people, get positioning really easy. I really like that. So we're going to be able to take out the Rico there again. Going to do some damage. Try and stay alive here and try and get a shot off before we go down so we can get our super. There we go. We did that perfectly. Carl's going to be killed and then we're going to have position again. So we're going to move up and try and do the same thing. Roll forward, kill somebody, do some safe damage, and then roll out. So let's go over here towards the Rico. We might not be able to get the kill here. Good super by him. Okay, we're able to get the kill, but we are going to go down. Looks like the rest of our team is going to go down as well. So we're going to have to try and kill this Carl, I think. There we go. Going to be able to kill him. Going to be able to kill this Mike as well. So there we go. Two kills. Perfectly done right there with Daryl. So now we are using the first star power. In my opinion, the first star power is way better. But I see a lot of people using the other star power. So perhaps that one isn't as bad as I think it is. Now, it's not terrible. It's definitely useful. But I just think this one is also really useful. And I actually like the change that they made to Daryl. So that he's actually really tanky when he rolls. But not as tanky when he gets back up. Going to go for the kill over here. We're not going to be able to get it. We're actually going to lose this game. Although it was a really well played game and I do share my losses. So that's going to be one of our first games for Daryl. Basically want to keep doing that. Unfortunately, they they played really well. They did a lot of damage. And, you know, we as a team didn't really do too well. Outside of a few good Daryl plays um, and a few good kills by them. So what we're going to do is hop into the second game. Use the second star power. Show you guys how to use that. And that is going to be our final game of the video. So let's head on over to that and let's show you guys what to do. Okay, so here we go into the final game. Now we're going to be facing a Frank, Rico, and Daryl. So this is actually a really cool comp to face as Daryl. So now we're using the Rolling Reload. So Rolling Reload might actually be decent against this comp just because they have a Frank. So we're going to move back, try and get our super while staying in the grass, not trying to take too much damage here. Um, trying to just chip away, but this Frank is actually playing the walls pretty well right now. So we're going to move up over here. So again, you want to stay in the grass. You want to be as sneaky as possible. Wait for your super. And now I'm going to go in. So I'm going to hit this Daryl over here. Oh, not going to be able to get the kill. Now, I feel like if I was protected by that shield, I would have been able to do way more. But still not bad. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try shooting a little more and getting a little bit closer before I start using my roll. I'm going to take some shots. I don't see anybody. Um, that Daryl's also using rolling reload. Okay. So Rico's going to use his super here. We're not going to go there because we're just going to be part of the Rico super. We don't want to feed more super or get hurt, obviously. So we're trying to go up over here. Good mid control by this Rico. Uh, I'm going to get hit by that. 
Again, just chilling in this mid. Don't want to overcommit to something that we can't really do properly. Going to use a roll over here. Going to try and do some damage. Roll away over here, which is going to give us that extra reload. And now we're going to pop off on the safe. We're going to do some really good damage here. Uh, let's try and hit this Rico. We're not going to be able to, but we did some good damage. Safe's at 54%, so we're going to continue moving forward here. So I guess that's how you want to properly use Rolling Reload. But again, you guys can see I'm in the mid. I'm not rushing anything. I'm not I'm trying my best not to charge supers. Just trying to let mine charge. We're going to be able to get the kill over there with Rinse. Going to try moving up. Don't really know where that Frank is, but we want to roll right on the Frank. So there we go. Going to hit the Frank with that roll. Going to be able to pick up that kill. Let's roll on this Daryl over here. Going to be able to pick up that kill. And again, we're just going to be passive because we have the lead. We don't have to go too aggro. Just hold down this spot, not let them pass us, and we're going to be able to win. So Daryl's going to roll on us. We're going to do a lot of damage since we're in this zone. We're going to get out of the super. We are going to go down. Good kill by that Rico over there. But we do seem to have things figured out. Now, you guys can see with Bull with Daryl, I'm kind of staying towards the mid of the map. Now, you want to do this in basically every single map. Just stay to a side that's going to be able to keep you safe. Um, the middle, somehow like unlike every other mid the middle is safe on this map so guys just stay towards whatever the safe spot is get your supercharged and move up but that is going to be it for daryl and that is going to be it for the video we're going to be able to win with two seconds left but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did again leave the like subscribe do whatever you can to help me out and support me i do mean um everything i say with these videos 100 percent. this is all pro gameplay competitive knowledge so definitely leave a like subscribe i do really 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 appreciate it because it does help me out a lot but anyways it's gonna be it for the video let me know if you guys enjoyed it if so maybe i'll teach you guys how to play throwers or how to play mid control how to lane correctly stuff like that but anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video it's gonna be it for me today and i will catch you guys again tomorrow peace bro that was the most chopped intro of all time of all time bro i can't speak okay bye